Since man first walked upright, he has looked to the stars and wondered, are we alone in this cold corner of space? If something is out there, would it be friend or foe? What would this Earth man think if he could see a desperate spaceship fleeing at a speed faster than imagination? What would he think if he saw the impact of potently powerful neutronic missiles upon its fragile frame? What would he make of the strange pod that ejected from the ruined remains just in time to avoid its mysterious inhabitants' destruction? And would he gape in wonder at the dozen or so strange canisters that burst from its hole and fell towards the atmosphere of our guileless globe? What emotion would pass through his mind as he observed these self-same containers as they passed through our atmosphere and fell upon the surface of an unsuspecting metropolis? So many questions, and so few answers. Until now, dear viewers. Until now. Until now, indeed. Welcome, welcome one and all, ladies and gentlemen, this is the Skyrider, and I welcome you to this, my first Let's Play. This is Freedom Force. Freedom Force, ladies and gentlemen, a brilliant uh, little strategy RTS squad-based sort of game. That is an official genre, in case you're wondering. And, yes, this is uh, going to be the first, I'll be playing through this, and I would love to hear your thoughts. Uh, I'm a new Let's Player to uh, the Let's Playing community, and any thoughts that can be offered would be greatly appreciated. As I said, this is a, as you can probably tell from the uh, <laughs> rather brilliant intro there, uh, this is a superhero based game. We have uh, various characters. Uh, we have the uh, the fearless leader here in the in the front in the Stars and Stripes, the Minute Man. Uh, to his left, uh, from his point of view, that is. We have uh, Man of War in the eye patch there. Man of War, Sean Connery like Man of War. We have the Alchemist, uh, uh, the with the flame orange hair there, the Jean Grey of the story. And down there in the bottom left, we have what is quite possibly the best name in all of any superhero universe the man bot the man bot ladies and gentlemen that is his real name trust me uh, we will meet him later on man bot <laughs> that's that's just brilliant as I'm sure you can tell from the cutscenes it's a very humorous game well to me at least but then I always have been an eccentric but enough of my mad ramblings that's not what you came here to see well maybe it is I am known for my mad ramblings, after all, but I digress, I apologize. To begin at the beginning, ladies and gentlemen, I give you the first cutscene of the game. Enjoy! The Secret Origin of Minute Man An old man sits on a park bench, thinking of a time shrouded in the past. His name is Frank Stiles, and he was once one of the brilliant young scientists who worked on the Manhattan Project. The Manhattan Project, the secret experiment that ushered in the wonders and terrors of the atomic age. It was his work that helped secure America's position as the leader of the free world. But Frank's memories are tinged with bitterness, for he was thrown off the project when he accused one of his fellow scientists of being a communist spy. And now he sits in this park, every day feeling a little older, and a little more useless. Just a minute. I recognize that man. It's O'Connor from the Manhattan Project. They never did believe me he was working for the Reds. But who's that suspicious fellow he's talking to? It looks like they're making some kind of secret exchange. I better move in closer for a better listen. Have you got the documents? Do you have my money? By Lenin's ghost. Is that all you Americans think about? The almighty dollar? Damn, I've been discovered. Idiot! You've been followed. Up to your old tricks, O'Connor? Do you know these capitalist fool? This is an itch I've been waiting to scratch for 20 years. We must flee before we are discovered. Come on! Bullet! Enter my heart, fading fast. Wait, statue of the Minuteman, glowing, 
as if it were calling out to me. Power surging into me. Ah! I am growing younger. Body bursting with strength. Feel like I could lift a thousand pounds. That statue must have been hit with some fantastic kind of energy. But it's fading. It must have completely transferred it into my body. I don't know what will come from all of this, but I must use these new powers to help my country fight her enemies within and without. Those Reds might have killed Frank Styles, but they're about to meet a Minuteman. Donning a costume to protect his identity, Minuteman searches for the treacherous O'Connor. Perhaps that double-crosser left some clues in this park to his whereabouts. To get information about playing the game, click on the glowing signs. And so we begin. Here we have our first hero of many, the Minute Man, the fearless leader. <laughs> the, you can see there in the Secret Origin the uh, great uh, tongue-in-cheek style of this game. I mean, when you've got uh, lines being delivered uh, incredibly seriously. Lines like, uh, who's that suspicious fellow he's talking to? It looks like they're making some kind of secret exchange. I better move in for a closer listen. And then comic Russians with red stars on their hats saying phrases like, by Lenin's ghost! Is that all the Americans think about the almighty dollar? <laughs> oh, I, I love how this game just rips the piss out of, out of that sort of uh, genre. It's brilliant. But, I'm rambling once again. To begin, ladies and gentlemen, to begin. Objects and people who you can click on in order to get more information are marked with a red exclamation point. That they are, Mr. Narrator. Follow the yellow arrows to learn more about the game. If you already know how to play, follow the red arrow. Well, what kind of a let's player would I be if I didn't play the game through to its fullest extent? I've got to respect the narrator, after all. Hit the O key to see your objectives. The man is a genius. Catch O'Connor. Simple enough. Or so it seems. When you left-click on an enemy, you execute your default attack. Try it on the thug ahead. To down the first thug of many. Right makes might! Batter up! To victory! Boom! Down he goes, the first of many. And of course, this is another advantage of playing through the tutorial level. Uh, you get to knock out all the thugs, uh, which will grant you prestige, which is a very important element of this game. The status bar in the bottom right shows details on the target object. Move the pointer over the thug ahead to examine him. So here we have Thug with Bat, 30 HP, 170 pounds, a hoodlum armed with a baseball bat. Not for much longer, my friend. Right, Fear the power right. of the Minute Man. Stunned. To victory. No more! I'll squeal! This thug has surrendered. Left click on him to interrogate. You will yield before the power of the Minute Man, Thug with Bat. I don't know where O'Connor is, but Louie might know. He's down on Concord Street. How convenient. Smashy For smashy. Freedom. That's uh, one thing to note in this game. Once you've interrogated the enemies, make sure to knock them out, otherwise you won't gain the all-important prestige. Right click on a target to bring up the command menu. Like so. So here we have the various commands available, the different abilities. We will be going through those later on. For now, we'll just smash people. Right makes might! Panicked! Run away! Isn't that cute? And... Boom! Down he goes. When using the command menu, the status bar shows details on each option available. Strike for Freedom is weaker than Smash, but it hits multiple enemies. Ah, uh, Strike for Freedom, one of the many fun powers that allows you to send enemies flying. So, watch this. For freedom! Whee! Oh, two at once and one of them gets right, panicked. That's Mike always fun. For Patriot City. Dodge. Bah. Victory. Ha! Down you go. Run away, run away. Time for Patriot some clotting. City. Oh, beautiful. Just beautiful. 
The purple bar on your portrait shows how much energy you have. Minuteman will stop attacking when he runs out of energy. You can force him to keep attacking, but this may stun him. Be careful. Be careful indeed. <laughs> I can't tell you that the amount of times that uh, I've been fighting a boss, my vital hero has run out of energy and stunned themselves and the boss has then cruelly destroyed them. As it is in the nature of supervillains to do. Try striking this boulder to pieces. You may run out of energy while doing so. Take that, For boulder. Freedom. Your evil is unwanted here. No to, uh... Or put a bit of foreshadowing in for you there, ladies and gentlemen, for those of you or who know this freedom. game. Ooh! A shiny object! Tell me, narrator, own wise and powerful narrator, what does this object mean for us? Energy X canisters can restore your energy, or give you other bonuses. Beautiful. So we see here this is a power canister, which uh, restores your energy. For Minuteman, that's not so much of a problem, because he doesn't tend to have many high-energy attacks, but for others, uh, there are certain attacks that will consume a hell of a lot of energy, even on their normal power settings, so you'll be begging to find those with other heroes. Check how much energy a power will use from the energy bar attached to the command menu. Be careful when it flashes. Hmm, be careful when it flashes, yes. That was a warning that was put out on me by the police. What? So sorry. Um, what? Oh, bugger, sorry, did I share too much? I've got to stop doing that. I, I do apologize, ladies and gentlemen. You can hold down the right mouse button and drag the command menu around. This makes it easier to target moving enemies. Try it now. How dare you, sir. You attack an innocent civilian of Patriot City. Or Feel the power of smash. You saved me. Thank you. That's okay, madam. Just stick to the main roads from now on. Well, I say main roads, but it's the middle of the park in the middle of the day. But You can change your default left-click attack by clicking the default power button in the lower left. Set it to strike for freedom before attacking these thugs. Look, vigilantes say that sort of thing all the time. I would know. I'm a vigilante. No, honestly, I am. Trust me. I know what I'm doing. Really. Right makes Wee! Flying people. That's always fun. And or again. Eat this. I'd rather right not if it's all the same to you. It doesn't conform with my diet. Hey! That's just or me. Justice. Ha! You thugs with bats are no match for the power of the Minute Man. And his eagle themed staff. Set your default attack back to smash if you want to avoid running out of energy by accident. Always a good idea. Ah, uh, the Americans. I'll let you guys interpret what I mean by that. I do actually love America. I have an uncle who is American. You can talk to everyday inhabitants of Patriot City by clicking on them. They may have interesting things to say. But much Who like is that guy? He looks like trouble. Don't interrupt my monologue, thug with bat. Take this, sir. Uh, ha! You didn't even get to finish your taunt. So yes, citizens of Patriot City may have interesting things to say. And with regards to my previous comment, uh, as you can probably tell by my uh, sickeningly posh English accent, I know uh, how easy stereotypes are to par parody. The streets ain't safe no more. Hmm. Well, as the helpful marker said, the citizens of Patriot City may have interesting things to say. It's a possibility. Sorry, I'm just scanning the park looking for any more wrongdoers that Minute Man can free from their state of consciousness. Shh, you know that statement made sense, you just don't want to admit it. So, behold the power of vandalism as I smash down this gate to continue into the Patriot City itself. For Patriot City! The gate was evil. I had to destroy it. And on that note of destroying the evil gate, I have a suspicion that the time limit may well be up, or indeed very well run over. So, ladies and gentlemen, uh, next time we will continue into Patriot City in search of O'Connor and destroying all of his minions that we can, who stand between us and true justice. It has been the Skyrider, ladies and gentlemen. 
farewell until we meet again.